Hey there, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin, and today I have another perfume review. I've done videos with this company, Dossier, before. This is not a sponsored video or review, but they did send me these products so I could test them out and talk about them with you guys. Today I have two scents that are inspired by Maison Margiela scents, um, their replica brand. And um, this is Woody Tobacco, which is inspired by Replica's Jazz Club. And I also have to test out Woody Chestnut, which is inspired by, by the fireplace. So I do at least have a sample size of this one that I've been able to compare with. And then Dossé also recently launched candles. So I got one of their candles to test out as well. Um, this is Floriental Vanilla, which is inspired by YSL's Black Opium, which again, I have a little sample that I could compare it with. If you're not familiar with Dossier, um, what they're known for is recreating um, inspired by scents that are basically dupes of higher end brand scents. So for example, the two that we are testing today are inspired by Replica perfumes. So Woody Chestnut is $29 and Woody Tobacco is $39. Um, so a slight price difference, but still much more affordable than the same size of the replica fragrance. The candle is priced at $39. So I previously had this little replica jazz club mini bottle that I got from one of the replica like sample discovery sets. And I love this scent. As soon as I saw that Dacia came out with a couple replica perfumes, I was very excited because in particular, this jazz club scent has been calling my name and I wanted to see if the dossier version was as good, if it was comparable, if it was a dupe, what the situation was. So love this scent, love the original. This is a total unisex scent. Any gender could wear this, it's beautiful. The notes on the Jazz Club scent are um, top notes, pink pepper, neroli, lemon. Middle notes are rum, java, vetiver oil, and clary sage with base notes of tobacco leaf, vanilla bean, and styrax. Looking at dossier's woody tobacco, very similar notes. Top notes are lemon, pink pepper, and neroli. Middle notes, rum, dry fruits, and blonde woods. So there's some variation on those middle notes. And then the base notes are Styrax, tobacco leaves, and vanilla. So the top and base are pretty much the same with a little difference in the middle notes. In my opinion, this dossier version smells very comparable to Jazz Club, but with some key differences. For example, when I smelled this one, I get a lot more citrus than I do in the Jazz Club version. So this one I really pick up on the citrus, which I never even noticed in Jazz Club. Um, that's just not something I pick up from this. Whereas this one, it, I do really feel like it has almost like that um, like orange twist in an old fashioned kind of citrus, like a citrus rind or something. That's a note that's coming through. And then this one also smells more peppery, more spicy to me, whereas Jazz Club smells smooth. So it's a very similar scent, but I don't think it's in exactly the same dupe. However, if this is out of your price range, I do think that this is a good option for like a smells similar, similar vibe inspired by type scent. This is such a cozy scent for fall. Both of these are great fall scents that I'm talking about today. Highly recommend something that you want to pick up for the winter to have like a cozy, good moment. Even if you're just staying at home, I love wearing perfume to like boost my mood. These are good options. If I'm being completely honest, I do slightly prefer the Replica Jazz Club, but this is a nice uh, inspired by option at a much lower price point. So next up, let's talk about Woody Chestnut, which is inspired by Replica's By the Fireplace. Okay, let's talk about the By the Fireplace notes real quick. Um, so the top notes on this one are cloves, pink pepper, and orange blossom. Middle notes are chestnut, guac wood, and juniper. I'm very sorry if I'm pronouncing any of these wrong. And the base notes are vanilla, peru balsam, and cashmerin. And then on Dossier's Woody Chestnut, the top notes are pink pepper, orange blossom, and clove. So same uh, middle notes, chestnut, guac wood, and cade wood. So the Cade Wood versus Juniper. And then the base notes are Vanilla, Peru Balsam, and Cedar Wood. So Cedar Wood instead of Cashmere. But as you can see, very, very similar. And I would say that these are very similar perfumes. In my opinion, this is a pretty close match. But again, I did pick up on a couple of differences that I will talk through with you really quickly. So 
For By the Fireplace, I feel like this one comes across much sweeter than the Woody Chestnut. I get more of like a marshmallowy, sugary-ness from By the Fireplace, whereas Woody Chestnut comes across just more um, warm wood than super sweet, in my opinion. Um, and this one also has more of a unique kind of ashy type smell. Like you really get that kind of like fireplace scent, whereas the woody chestnut comes across just more like firewood. It doesn't have that like ashiness to it. I don't know how else to explain it, but the, the by the fireplace really does have that unique kind of like evoking the memory of a fire. So, um... I really found myself reaching for this perfume a lot this past week. I really enjoyed wearing it independent of it being like a dupe or, you know, an inspired by scent. I just thought this was a really nice perfume to wear in the fall. It's beautiful. I really enjoy this one. Interesting because I think I prefer Jazz Club over um, By the Fireplace, but in terms of the dossier scents, I found myself reaching for Woody Chestnut more over Woody Tobacco. I just liked the way that this one smelled. If you're specifically looking to get that marshmallowy by the fireplace thing, it's not as gourmand as the by the fireplace in my personal opinion. Um, it's not as sweet, um, but really nice, really enjoyable. Last thing I'll say about Woody Chestnut and by the fireplace is that like a lot of dossier perfumes, I find that as the perfumes dry down, um, like if I'm wearing one on each arm, like I have tried out for testing purposes, I find the difference between the two scents becomes less noticeable the longer that I wear them on my skin. Um, I think like as it sort of like heats up and kind of like settles into your skin, they become more and more comparable. These candles are priced at $39, which if I'm just being completely honest, I think is a little expensive for the size. They do talk on their website that these are made with very high quality ingredients, they're vegan, cruelty free, um, so those are good reasons why a price might be more expensive. This little candle is supposed to have a burn time of 25 hours. I've burned it for, I would say, maybe four or five hours so far, um, and you can see well, it's only gone down like a slight amount, so that gives me hope that it might be, you know, I might get that actual burn time out of it because this does look pretty small at first glance. And I think also for the price, you know, part of Dossier's brand, in my mind, is that they're like a more affordable option. I just kind of feel like the price point on this particular product is a little bit surprising. This to me feels like the price I would expect to pay for the name brand markup. Even if it is a nice fragrance and um, like a high quality product, I still feel like because the price point is higher, it doesn't really fit with their brand in my mind. Like, like for example, the Bath and Body Works three wick candles. This one was twenty four fifty. Like that's what the sticker price says, and you can usually get these on sale. I get that they're going for like something more luxury than this. Don't get me wrong, I am willing to pay more for candles. I have this uh, Boy Smells Casey Musgraves slow burn candle. Um, which was quite big and I really enjoyed, but I feel like this, it just gave me a whole experience. The packaging is so beautiful. This kind of feels like a bit, you know, they're using the same labels as they do on their perfumes, which I don't mind because the perfumes are like definitely an affordable, minimalist kind of packaging. Um, for a $39 candle that's this size, I think I just want a little more. I want a little more if you're gonna put it at that price point, I want it to be an experience. Talking about the scent of this itself, I would say this to me comes across more subtle than the YSL Black Opium. Um, I also found that when I was burning it, the scent didn't really throw that much. It didn't really like fill the entire room in the way that I personally like for a candle to um, like kind of scent the, the entire room. I will continue to burn this and you know, it did seem to be like pretty slow burning, long lasting, so that is a positive. However, yeah, I just think the price point is a little high. That's just my personal opinion. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate when you guys hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and leave a comment. I love to hear what you guys think. Um, let me know if you have tried either of these from Dossier or if there are other scents that you were interested in trying out. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much. Bye.